welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about LeBron James and Drake being sued for $10 million over the rights uh, for hockey documentary, Black Ice. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. LeBron James and Drake are among those being sued for $10 million over the intellectual property rights of hockey doc documentary titled Black Ice. The New York Post reports that former NBA executive director Billy Hunter has filed a lawsuit which also named LeBron's business partner, Maverick Carter, in future among the defendants and is seeking share profits from the field as well as $10 million in damages. While the defendants, LeBron James and Drake and Maverick Carter, LeBron's business partner, are internationally known and renowned in their respective fields of basketball and music, it does not afford them the right to steal another man's intellectual property, the lawsuit stated. The Black Ice documentary was scheduled to premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival on September 10th is based on Black Ice, the long history of colored hockey player leagues of the Maritimes, 1895 to 1925, a book written by George and Daryl Fosty, filed in Manhattan State Supreme Court. The lawsuit claims that Hunter holds the executive legal rights to produce any film about the color hockey league that existed from 1895 to 1930s. I don't think anyone believed that the property rights would be litigated. They thought I would go away. They gambled, Hunter told the New York Post. The news arrived just days after LeBron and James, LeBron James, Drake became minority investors in the Italian soccer league club AC Milan. Early this street, the Yankee Global Experience Enterprises, the MLB team's parent company and Los Angeles-based investment firm Main Street Advisors, which includes LeBron James and Drake amongst its group of investors, were reportedly closing in on a deal to purchase the reigning Series A champions for just over $1.2 billion. The deal would make LeBron James and Drake passive investors in Milan through the Main Street Advisors while not only a direct state in the soccer club. So former executive Billy Hunter, if you ever known, uh, known Billy Hunter, he was always involved with the Players Association with the NBA. Basically, he was an older gentleman. He basically kept everything in line. He was the guy who helped with all the contract disputes that the players had with the owners. And you very rarely had problems between the owners and players. So I'm surprised that LeBron James, Drake, Future, and Maverick Carter overstepped their lines with Billy Hunter. Because I know LeBron James knows Billy Hunter. And I know that Maverick Carter knows him. But instead of them sitting down possibly and say, hey, man, we're going to do this. We're going to give you a little cut, just like Future. And we're going to give you a little cut because we think this is a movie that needs to be out there. I would love to see the documentary because I think it's something that I have never seen. I didn't even know about this, and I read a lot when it comes to sports. So this is an excellent documentary that LeBron and Drake is in. I wish they would sit down, talk to Billy Hunter because he is another black man. Billy Hunter is a black man. And you sit there and say, hey, man, we're going to bring you in as a partner. LeBron James, Drake, Maverick Carter, and Future, man, they got more money than they can think of. Bring the brother in. You're going to get a cut. We're going to show you the respect that you rightfully deserve because you brought this intellectual property. And that's what should happen. And that should be final. It shouldn't be some long legal fight. That's all you're doing is spending money on lawyers. They getting billable hours. You know how that is. By the time you get the money back, hell, they done took a third of that. So these brothers should sit down, have a discussion, bring him in as a partner, and that's it. Because this documentary, I believe, is one that a lot of people will end up watching. And I know they will enjoy watching this documentary. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.